It's time for tea and this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And when you see me with the squad, we're either spilling or sipping tea or maybe having a guest join us in the studio. I am Ifeo Lua Oshinke and I'm here with the flamboyant Nimi Adekombi and the controversial Benny Ak. Now you're, you're sick, you're sick with it. You're I'm sticking, get, I'm getting you're sticking with it. No, the, the, the I like that, dude. I like, just, just stick with that, man. Seriously. I mean, yeah. flamboyant. Would you rather be flamboyant? Don't, <laughs> don't you think you are right now? I don't think I'm See how good you're looking. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Say, yeah, very proud girl. I ain't gonna say that, man, because she's gonna get a lot of that today, so I'm not gonna enjoy the statistics. Now. Confidence no. level is one Nah, I ain't gonna do oh, that. Wow. Big shout out, man. Nice to have you on the show with us. Yeah, again. I missed you guys it's so much. It's always a pleasure. I didn't miss you. Sorry. Right. No. Okay. Yeah. I missed you. Don't worry. I get the thing. On today's lineup, most of the movies we're putting out on Netflix are becoming painful to see, says actor. Bobby Obodo. And him. I totally think I agree with him because um, like him. he didn't lie about it because if yeah. you go on Netflix and you see most of the Nollywood movies that are being put out there, mm -hmm. you're wondering how did they even get to Netflix? What's the criteria for your movie to be shown on Netflix? Because I believe Netflix is a solid platform mm -hmm. for your brand and it should be only movies that meet a certain criteria, but yeah. the type of movies you see on Netflix these days, I'm sorry. Nigerian and, movie? Yeah, Nigerian Yeah, Nigerian movie. movies. And Nigerian cha movies. <laughs> it's all about the money, right? Sure. Netflix has got to make money. I mean, I, I mean... Just pay the right people and you have your movie on. Okay, there. do they pay, if, they pay Netflix to put their movies on Netflix? Yes, you do. I mean, I Netflix, oh, I I think if Netflix should. is not buying the Your rights to The rights to, no then you got to pay. Right. You have to pay them. Okay, so, so it's not like a Lionel situation now. It's just you're paying Netflix to put your movie yes. out there. So now people are just putting any kind of movie. Yeah. They just want you know people to like see their movie and to just say, oh, my movie is on Netflix. So that is why people are now putting now, any kind of... Because I've gone through like the Nollywood movies yeah. that are on Netflix and I'm really wondering like why are some of them dear? Because I've watched them and I'm like, they didn't really meet... Like if there was a certain criteria, criteria yeah. that they were supposed to meet, I don't think they met those criteria. Okay, if you look at movies like Up North, mm -hmm. Up North can be on Netflix. Um, oh, Up North is a fantastic story. Exactly, it's, it was a fantastic story. It, was, it had be, beautiful be cinematography, told, yes. 93 days. Mm -hmm. it, it's a beautiful movie. And then there's some other movies that I'm just like, I'm not, I am in Nigeria and I would not even watch these movies. I'm much more an international audience. I think if we want um, people to be more interested in Nigerian media and what we put out there, we have to be very conscious which is what he said, of the kind of um, movies that we put out there. Because for most people, when they watch these movies on Netflix, that is the image the impression of Nigeria. That is the impression they have. Because one of the reasons why Hollywood is very... Exactly, and it's so embarrassing then I ask them, us. We, we, like, we're meant to have a, a national fame's video censoring board. Exactly, I mean, So yeah. they should know the kind of movies they want to put out there to and represent us censor. internationally. Internationally, because yeah. Everybody, every, every, everybody's on Netflix, and so the last thing you want to do is portray an image of your country. Exactly. Just about that Nigeria, isn't, though, because I've right. seen some horrible movies on Netflix, mm. and they're probably American movies. Let's or, focus on Nigeria. Yeah. Let's, we are talking about Nigeria. No, I'm just saying, I understand. I know yeah. it's not just Nigeria, because yeah. um, I think, like you said, it's about the money. You just have to pay the right people and then you can get your movie out there. But in the case of Nigeria, where we are the um, biggest movie production um, country, country in the world, right? Then I think are we? I was thinking it's Hollywood, Bollywood, it's and then Bollywood. Actually, yeah, we Bollywood. are second. What's we have the what? largest market. Hollywood, Bollywood, and Nollywood. Yeah, we're the yeah. third. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I said third. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. we're the third biggest um, mm -hmm. movie production company, company in the world, yeah. right? So why won't we just have proper standard of the movies yeah. we put out there, such as Lion Art, Chief yes. Daddy? Um, King of Boys, yeah. Mary Man, yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Exactly. Wait, what? Did you? <laughs> you and I, was just, I, was, I was just saying, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, wait, wait, you know, because like cinematography, Lion Heart, Lion Heart, Lion, Lion, Lion Chief Heart. Daddy. Yes, I mean. Chief Daddy, had why, great I don't understand why people don't like Chief Daddy. I do um, love that movie. <laughs> For me, I felt like the storyline was predictable. For oh, Chief Daddy, no, which is one cliche. of the things it's it was. So yeah, it was very. It, it, oh it my was God, pretty it was cliche. So it's cliche. typical of Nigerian movies. It was so cliche. Ah, uh, my boy Fowls killed that. <laughs> Maybe you liked the comedy of Fowls and all of that, but the we are talking about storyline here. We are talking about directing. I felt mm. like it was just too much. I think at it was a, a deep point. movie, though, if you ask me. So uh, just like there's a particular movie um, producer when he comes out with a movie, I know how the, how the story is gonna go. I'm like yeah. okay, and you know, and it's blockbuster and. And I feel like, oh, but, but we must give credit to the Nollywood industry. They have really improved when it comes to storytelling, directing, and also production. On production level, they have really, for me personally, I think they've really <laughs> improved with the quality 
of movies. Just a few of them. Yeah, maybe a few, but I would say I'm really impressed anyways. With anyway, the so um, I think we should watch the quality. I totally agree with Bobby Obudu on this one. We should improve on the quality of movies we put on Netflix, especially when we're being watched by the world. All right, it's time for a break, but when we return, we'll be joined by our studio guest, Stay Glued. Stay.